Kind of cool, kind of fun. They phrased so nicely. You can keep hating on Papa regardless. <laughs> just pop in here and just say like i have not posted in two months and last time i checked i literally had like 30 40 subscribers and now there's literally 600 of you guys like what the what the actual um that is actually so crazy i never expected it um apologies in advance because i never posted if anyone is subscribed and thank you so much like that is actually crazy like what for what it doesn't make any sense you guys like i, re I really really wish that i could be that like aesthetic like diy like vlogger youtuber uh, I'm just not. I am just not. You know, with their cute music and cute edits, and they like draw on their fonts. Like, that's not me. So, I, I apologies in advance. Thought I'll film another video today. I have not posted in ages, in three months. But anyway, that's beside. I'm a TikToker. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a TikToker. Well, basically, a little backstory. I'm back home, and my 30 friends that will probably watch this all know that. So. Let's just move past the formalities. Back home, bored, unproductive. I thought, you know what? Let me make some jeans. So I thought I'd attempt to make the jaded London jeans. I'm sure you might have seen them around on Instagram or whatever. They're kind of cool, kind of fun, kind of... Kind of fun. So that's what we're going to do. And I thought I'd bring y'all around with me. So let me quickly show you what I have. So, um, last week I went to the charity shops to get cheap jeans. <coughs> this one was £3.99 and this one was £4.99. Um, and this one was actually gifted by Miss Faye Bay. You know I'm an influencer and so I do <laughs> receive gifted items. But let me talk you through my little dilemma that I have. These ones, they actually do fit me, but the waist is a little bit tight. These are far too big, they do not fit me. It's 10 sizes too big. And that's... That's women, that's not going to fit me. So I'm now making jeans from items that don't fit me, which is really, really clever. If you ask me, that's really, really clever. I did a little sketch last night of the pattern. This is what I have. So that's going to be the front. There's three different colours and that's the back. You know, look at me, very, oh, very organised. I've literally left and right, like kind of professional. This is by no means a tutorial, guys. Let me just... Put that out there, okay? Like, if you came here for tutorial purposes, I suggest you exit. I do suggest you exit because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not a clue. This is the jeans on. Do you know what? They're not bad. They're definitely very tight. They're very, very tight. And um, I probably can't walk up the stairs. I probably can't sit down. Wait, let me... I mean... I'm literally such an idiot. That... Like, who on earth buys three jeans that don't fit them? And decides to make something like what the actual hell i just don't know how to go about doing this but i actually don't know where to begin so on the back and front to be different but like i don't know if i can sew it on and then the sides as well and like the crotch area i can't change that yep that's not gonna work but i'll worry about that later <sighs> right so i've got this bad boy the seam ripper and i'm gonna start by taking out the pockets because at least that way i feel like i'm making some progress because right now um i just want to throw this all away one pocket out five more to go <laughs> i've unpicked the pockets i left one on because i, I don't need it got rid of those and now it's ready to get cut in and i've had absolutely enough seam ripping all the way along the length of this so then i can start cutting and using my fabric i need this patch that patch and that patch so one patch needs to go like here oh my god you guys okay i'm making some progress i've literally just cut everything out um messed up some parts but let's not talk about it let's not talk about it my back is broken and then here we're gonna have some dark blue that whole part's gonna be dark blue that's staying that color this part's staying that color dark blue dark blue it's kind of working just a little bit it's it's kind of working it's kind of coming together let's keep going yeah! I hate myself. 
So basically now I feel a bit more confident. Like I feel a little bit confident. I don't know what I'm doing um, because it's all coming to me. Yep. <laughs> So, I'm going to just cut these. These are really big, so I'm not going to bother um, picking them. I'm just going to... Um, also, can you guys watch this like a million times maybe? And then um, hopefully the AdSense will be popping up. I don't even get AdSense. Um, because I'm trying to buy a camera. Um, not because I'm going to film anything with it. Because I don't really vlog. I'm an awful vlogger. I'm, I'm not a vlogger. I'm not. This is just a kid that's bored that does this on the side. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. But yeah, I want a G7X. And shoot me. Oh wow, that was simple, that was easy. Oh my god, this is so good, what the hell? Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, oh well. So, that's what the jeans are going to look like from the front. Kind of cool, kind of fun, kind of funky, kind of fresh. Dark blue needs to go there, actually, I'm going to cut that out right now. And then, yeah, that's the front. Done. Attach that to that. But this is what the front is going to look like, hopefully. I have the back of one jeans. I'm going to put this colour. I haven't used this sewing machine in such a long while. Um, like, face sewing machine is so sick. It is so, so sick. It never comes undone, so smooth. Like, this one's already pissing me off. How did I manage to sit on Wonky? <laughs> right, take two. I've actually pinned it now, and so hopefully it won't move. And this works. And so I've left this like part of the side because when I wash it, it'll fray like this. But yeah, that's one done, and I've got a few more to go. These two long side pieces that I was going to run down the back. So then bad sides facing together because we want them to fray. Guys, I'm gassed. I'm actually gassed. That is like the straightest line I've ever done in my life. Um, so last night I just literally sewed these together. That's one leg um, and that's the back of another leg. Today I need to now start unpicking these jeans because these are like the template jeans that actually fit me. Well, kind of, not really, but I really want to change this top part, but I actually don't know how to do it. Like. I was thinking all of last night about like, how am I going to get about doing that and I have absolutely no idea. Pushing my love aside. I also went for a little um, drive today um, with my mum and when I tell you public transport is literally is built for me. It is built for people like me. I do not belong on the roads. Um, that is with very good reason. If I ever do pass, I will not be going above 40 miles an hour. That will not be happening. You will not catch me dead on the motorway or dual carriageway. And I will not be parking, unfortunately. I will, I, I will have to hire someone else to do that for me. I just want to drive through a drive through because especially now when everything's locked off at 10 o'clock and the only thing that's open is drive throughs like that is, that's all I want. So I've literally cut the back of the jeans off. This is the other color jean we have. And I'm just, I like lined it up and I left a little flap. And I'm just going to sew like along here over the top of that flat. Oh my God, you guys, wait, wait a DM minute. <laughs> it's sewed on. And then when I wash it, all this extra part is, is gonna fray nicely, hopefully. Um, oh my God, yes, I'm so happy with how it turned out. <laughs> I've actually flopped this. How do I show you this to you? Look, half the pattern is literally off the leg. That should, if that should be there, this should be, <laughs> it's too long. This is literally a logistical nightmare. Okay, so basically I've kind of ditched the pattern because I wanted that long strip here, but it's just not gonna fit. So we're just making it smaller and I'm just gonna patch it on top of the jean rather than try and sort it out first and work my way down to the leg. So I just literally did this leg off camera. Um, as you can tell, there's a big difference in the legs. So I need to cut this one down and cut that one down to make sure it adds up. But yeah, I just think I've kind of given up. Like I'm just going with it. Okay, so guys, that's one side done. Flip it back part. Um, and now I just need to literally sew the sides together. Pin that side trim this side to match up and now i'm just going to quickly do one long stitch all the way down this side and that's one leg done do the same for the middle as well and then we're done 
This is what we got going on. I don't know what they have there. Everything exclusive, everything expensive. I don't want to say too much. Right now, right now, I'm wearing everything expensive, everything exclusive, and everything icy. I don't want to say too much because I don't want nobody biting. Okay, I'm gassed. I'm gassed. It fits. So, if we can continue, like, I don't even think it would fit. Um, so now I'm gonna literally just unpick this leg um, and unpick that side. I might sew a pocket on to the back. But yeah, I think we can unstitch this right all the way up to the top. Just me and my jaded, I mean, not jaded, me and my shop record for the Me and my shopping soon, guys. I got rent to pay. <laughs> okay, so I've just pinned on this pocket. And I want to sew that on, and then I want to sew the back of this one on. I think I want to add an extra patch on here because it just looks a bit like empty. I don't have to sew the front, so this part I don't have to do that. So <laughs> might just have to leave it, but I don't want to leave it. I don't do it. Basically, pin these on, and I'm just gonna stitch along there, and then that's the back done. I think I'm just gonna leave the back side like this. So yeah, the back is all attached. Um, added this patch on I decided on the bottom and now I'm adding this patch on right here over the top just to like separate the colors out a bit more I'm not too sure how I'm gonna get about doing this <laughs> so I've tried to sew the patch on I've sewn the two <laughs> I've literally sewn the back and front of the trousers together it's literally <laughs> I think I'm just gonna give up with that patch I'm just not gonna bother That's what we're looking at right now, or whatever. Anyway, so I tried to, this was meant to go all the way across, but it was, it didn't make it. <laughs> My calculations did not add up. So then I had to cut a bit off and then add this patch on so then I can actually fit my legs through it. So now all I need to do is join this side and that side together. And we're good to go. Yeah, put them to the wash tomorrow, dry them tomorrow. Hopefully they'll become nice and frayed, hopefully, because right now it just looks a bit raggedy. But like, not raggedy enough for it to be like, okay to wear, just it looks raggedy like. First of all, there's like a little bit here, I need to get rid of that. Second of all, there was a hole here and then I sewed it over and now it feels like a nappy. Like it literally feels like a nappy. I'm wearing a nappy. Like it was really uncomfortable when I walk, but I just feel, a mass here. Honestly, Jada, just, <laughs> just like put me on your front page. <laughs> okay, right, so it is the next day. I gotta do a fresh trim or whatever. I'm also, uh, I made a little Vaseline, like I made a little Vaseline pouch. <laughs> oh, the thing is actually horrific, but like I tried and it's kind of cute. It's kind of fun, kind of funky, kind of fresh. Um, yeah, it's time for me to put this through the wash. I'm not too sure like what settings to put it on or like how it's gonna work. A 20 minute quick wash, don't really know, whatever it is. Um, and just dash it in there. In the wash and then I guess we'll see what happens. I put it in the dryer. Guess we're done, fingers crossed. Hopefully it turns out all right. Oh, they're a little bit damp, but oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, it looks good. <sighs> The jeans have all dried and I've got them right here in front of me. Look at them. So they've actually frayed so, so. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself. Like they probably look exactly the same. But like, look here. They frayed so nicely here as well the light ones that Faye gave me literally frayed so well um and the dark ones didn't fray like at all and it didn't come apart which is good that's always a, a positive but literally i love it i love it like it came out so well <laughs> I will probably be leaving a trail of thread like anywhere I go. But guys. All my neighbors are gonna think I'm such a freak. Real hot girl shit. Can 
no little too. Hey, bitch, I'm a problem. Nobody solve it. You can keep hating, I'm popping regardless. He wanna feel it like Megan is stag and don't want your nigga cause I want his daddy. I like to switch up my style every week. I gotta switch up my hair. That's not fun. This is really awkward. That is actually really, really awkward.